Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Think Future. My name's CK, and once again, we're coming at you live from deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking innovation startups, the future, not necessarily those, and not necessarily in that order. If you're watching on YouTube, smack that subscribe button and hit that bell so that we can, so that you can get notified when a new show comes up. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast service, please subscribe and drop us a line on Apple Podcasts. That would be greatly appreciated. So I've talked before about reward systems for innovation. How do you reward your employees when they've come up with innovative new products and services? And I've said it before and I've, I'll say it again. Cash rewards are great. They're great. But they do not bring in what you're looking for. They do not bring in the best, the most innovative ideas. They don't come from that at all. Because you know what's really true? And I've read it in a number of different ways, and I've seen it happen in a number of different ways, is that if you use recognition instead of money, instead of monetary rewards, you actually get much better response. Not only do you get much better response, you get much better ideas. And why do we do this? Well, psychology consists of it because the reality is is that the thing that people want most is to be seen is to be recognized is to be heard i mean if you think about it think about your typical major corporation right maybe it's 5000 10000 20000 people a typical employee within this system just feels like a cog in the machine right I mean, how much do we actually value these people? Because it's a hierarchical system, right? Those at the top seem to get what they want and do what they want, and those in the middle and in the bottom don't, right? They're, they're along their lines, and some of them are happy to do it, and some of them aren't. But the ones who want to their ideas to be highlighted, to be seen elsewhere, they don't just want the money out of it. They want recognition. The ones who are really, truly innovative will prefer recognition to almost anything else. In fact, I've had plenty of situations where you can give away iPads or you can give away monetary rewards, but the monetary, the ideas you're going to get from the monetary rewards pale in comparison from the ideas that you're going to get if you do internal recognition or external recognition or take this idea and present it to the rest of the company and say, this is the person who developed the idea. This is the team that developed the idea. Human beings crave recognition. And lately I've been, I've been reading uh, Rene Girard's mimetic theory and it, it comes out of that as well. Because not only do we desire what everyone else wants, we desire to be known. We desire to be recognized. There's very few people who would prefer to remain in the shadows. Recognition is super important for human beings. And I think what happens is that there's too much recognition that isn't really recognition. It's like, it's like getting a, a participation award. Yeah, I showed up, I was there. I didn't really contribute. This is why whenever we have IP sessions where we're discussing targeted IP generation and we're we're asking like whose name should go on the patent application. We make sure that the people who contributed, materially contributed to the idea are the ones recognized. Not just the people who are sitting in the back of the room snoring or doing nothing when the idea was being discussed. You have to have con materially contributed to the idea to gain the recognition from the idea. And that's the thing is that we need to ensure that the rewards that we give are not monetary but recognition based because then you'll get the best rewards i mean i've talked about this before when it comes to how you drive innovation within an organization what are you incentivizing what do you when do you give people promotions when do you give give people raises well typically when not when they've d created a new innovative product or service oh no no because innovation sometimes goes against the bottom line you have to spend money to innovate because you have to spend time and effort and money to develop proof of concepts or take your people out of their day-to-day -day jobs and allow them to ideate new ideas. So if you 
simply promote based on how many people somebody is managing or your profitability, then you're not incentivizing to innovate. And you can incentivize to innovate very simply and very inexpensively by making it real recognition. I'm not talking about the fake stuff, the part, the, the participation awards, but real recognition based on real contribution. There's so little of that nowadays. It's all so fake. Bring that back to your organization and you will see innovation again. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future.